Hey guys, welcome back. Carter Bitsby tripping in our new offices in T-Rex. We're sitting in the bar because why not start there? We're going to take you through the Bitmain new release of the S19 XP. So we'll talk through some of that real quick and then we're going to take you guys through price elasticity. So I'm not going to lose you there. We're going to have a reference to some beer, some previous life that I used to do and why this matters really good comments that came out around pricing and I think we can come we can bring you guys to you know a space on that. So before that let's jump to our sponsor and then we'll get into this. Decentralization is one of the most important factors in a global cryptocurrency network. Bitcoin's proof of work functions due to the exceptional security provided by the miners of the network. Today's sponsor is Compass Mining, a company with a customer focused experience providing a tailored approach to purchasing, hosting, or even an at-home option, allowing anyone the opportunity to participate. If this interests you, head over to compassmining.io. All right, guys, we're back. So let's first talk the S19 XP. This has just got unveiled. There are some great people already out there in Dubai that were able to bring some content to you guys. I'm going to share their videos as part of this to show you some quick, you know, it looks just like a normal S19. What the difference? So the difference, the hash rate of 150 terahash versus the current top end unit being 110 terahash and the price of that terahash per megajoule. So this is lowered because you're looking at around the same power use of a 110 terahash, 450 terahash unit. Now this matters to all kinds of folks when you're looking at your ROI on the unit, you're looking for more hash for less power, right? That's kind of the, what you look for from the sweet Goldilocks zone when you're mining. It looks like third quarter, fourth quarter of next year, 2022. So you should start to see some of those come online. I'm assuming in that first quarter, second quarter for the early folks that were able to get their hands on these. Let's get into the pricing. And when we talk about pricing, we talk MSRP, what is gonna be the estimated price of this unit and why hasn't the pricing data came out on it yet? And it brings me back to a time when I used to work for Anheuser Bush and I was a pricing manager for the Northeast. And when we would price goods, there's a price elasticity chart that we would go against when it comes to competition, it comes to market dynamics of how's the demand in that particular area. And when we look at crypto, it's very interesting because it isn't just a supply and demand. You have the way pricing structures work are you have an R&D cost, you have a margin that you're trying to make, and then you have any kind of float of that margin based on that, that MSRP. So if there's a higher demand, you can slide up a little and the company will charge a little more money. And we sit there and say, oh, well, you know, this happens all the time in GPUs. If you look at GPU pricing, $478 is what you should be able to get like a 6,800 non-XT graphics card, but now they're 1,300 bucks. So what happens is that demand goes up, manufacturers see that there's potential revenues to be made and it's either you sell it at MSRP and you lose that opportunity cost because people are gonna just, you're gonna have scalpers buy it and then resell it at a higher rate. Companies are gonna rebaseline that. So it starts to move away from R&D capture cost and an ROI on that R&D plus your margin to we have this extra margin that we could have because demand is so high. And there's calculations that are all built around this. It all comes back down to price elasticity. Like how elastic is the price predicated on the environment that's going on, right? So if it's an ASIC manufacturer that's putting out a new unit, meaning the 150 terahash unit, when those become available for sell, they're gonna take a measurement based on that demand and then what else is out there when it comes to Bitmain's not gonna price this until they're available. And they're gonna see what the market dynamics are when it comes to Bitcoin's price. And they're gonna see what's that profit generation over that, that period of time. It seems like it should be an easy read for people to understand that, but we look at comments and we look at, oh, why is a graphics card so high in cost? The manufacturers are gonna take that margin if the margin is there to be taken. And it all comes back down to demand. So. Hopefully that was a quick one for you guys. We don't know what the price is, but we can throw some estimations here based on Bitcoin's price and seeing where we would expect the expectations based on that math we were just telling you. So we'll throw that up, throw you some screenshots 
and video that, of the event with that data, and then we'll catch you guys on the next one. Make sure you like and subscribe and sharing this content. Hopefully you guys like this. Peace.